What's up guys? I'm Andrew with uh, Nautilus Spearfishing today. Uh, a lot of people have been telling me, Andrew, I really like that Pathos Sniper roller. Uh, I just have no idea how to rig it. Today you're going to find out. It's going to be fun. So check it out. Uh, we got a Pathos Sniper Roller 105 right here. Uh, and uh, basically I got this Dyneema here mocked up. It's not, really, it's not really hooked up, but it's mocked up so I can show you guys how to run this thing. So we would pretend this is our shooting line. Uh, the shooting line would run forward. Uh, by the muzzle, you'll notice there's these little notches on the sides, uh, right there. So your line would run on one of these notches, preferably on the side your line release is on. Then it has a little uh, groove in here. You would wrap your shooting line in that groove, run it underneath that side anchor, go straight shot back until you get to your line release. Uh, once you do that first loop on your line release, you're going to start running it back this way. Uh, you're going to run it on that anchor. You can go under and over, which is what I like to do, or you can go over and under. It doesn't seem to really matter. I kind of like going under and over. So you see that right there. Okay? Then you just run it back one more time. If you have two wraps, you go back on the line release, and then, you know, if you have a reel on there, or if you have a breakaway, or whatever, it would kind of, uh, you know, you would rig it however you, uh, you desire. Uh, and that's basically how you would rig this thing. Once, um, once you have all your shooting lines set up, you'd, you would want to grab these loops and put it underneath here uh, to keep everything out of the way, really nice and secure there. And that's really it. And that also kind of helps the uh, shooting line not pop out of the line release pin back here. So you, if you leave it up here, it likes to pop out just like that. So what you would want to do is just hook it up and make sure you run it down like that. As you pull it down, it engages on that pin a little bit nicer. And that's really it. So, um, pretty simple stuff, guys. I, I'll be honest. When I used this gun in Costa Rica for the first time, I didn't really study it, and I just jumped in the water and I started using it. And uh, I honestly didn't know how to rig it until I got back home, and I'm like, it has to be an easier way. And there it is. Uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.